Today we're going to look at some more of the exercises on um, the Java programming website that we've been following on from the University of Helsinki. Um, we are looking at the once upon a time um, exercise. You can see the first two we've done, they've got little green circles next to them to confirm we've done them. Um, so we can close the Ada Lovelace one. So I'm just going to right click on that. Halfway down there's a close button there. Um, and like I say, we're going to have a look at the once upon a time uh, challenge. So I'll just get that open. So here's the once upon a time um, exercise. So the exercise template comes with the following template. Modify the program so that it will print the following text. Use three system.out.print line commands for printing once upon a time there was a program. Okay, that's great. So they've pretty much given us um, what we need to complete this exercise. There's a little bit that we need to add on um, to the sout or the system.out. So we will have a look at that now. If we go back to our TMC NetBeans, like so, um, and we've got our boilerplate here, so our basic template. And what I'm going to do is um, just enter a new line, uh, just so I've got some space to work with. And then I'm going to type system.out.println. And then we've got the open and close parentheses, and we need double quotes as well. On the end of the line, we need a semicolon. Um, what I'm going to do now is just have a quick look at the um, information here. I'm going to copy this. And I'm just going to paste it in down here, um, just so I know what we're copying exactly, um, with the capitals in the right place as well. Um, so we've got the first line, that's done, that's excellent. I'm going to do another system.out.println, or print line. And then in that one, I'm going to copy this. And then in the third one, is going to be the last line here, a program. So because we've copied the strings, or the, the words, they should be exactly um, how they're meant to appear. So we should pass this hopefully first time. So remember you can submit here using this button, or you can go to the TMC um, option up here and click submit just there. So let's submit that and see how we do. Excellent, so that's passed. So you can add in your, your own um, reflection on how you feel you did. Just going to post that there. Um, and just to reiterate, the reason I copied the strings was so that they are written exactly um, as they appear. So, for example, if we were to have changed the capital um, O for a lowercase o, that would print something different and it wouldn't pass. Um, so you do need to be very careful um, with your punctuation and capital letters um, in programming. And with that, the once upon a time exercise is completed. If we go back to the website and click refresh, we can see that we've got another point and we can move on. Writing the command system.out.println can be taxing. In NetBeans, try to write S out on a blank line within the main and press the tab key, which is next to the key on your keyboard. What this will do is print out the system.out.println. So if I show you here, uh, so S O U T and then tab, and it will print the S out. If you do SOU double T or you make a mistake and you tab um, press back, you can delete the mistake and it will still work. Um, so that's a really, really good shortcut to, to be aware of because it does save you quite a lot of time. Um, and that's why it's referred to as an S out as well. Uh, so I'm going to close this project here. Save that. Um, the animation below illustrates the use of the S out command. The user first writes S out and then pressed tab. Magic. There are quite a few NetBean shortcuts. If you Google them, you will probably be able to find a sheet uh, that will show you a lot of their shortcuts. Here we are. So here's the sheet that I'm referring to that has a lot of the uh, sh keyboard shortcuts on there. So when we come to things like writing our own methods, we'll be writing the keyword public quite a lot. Instead of having to write public out all the time, you can type the letters P and U and press tab. And a similar uh, thing will happen. It will auto complete the code for you. So again, I'll just show you in this dinosaur package. If I write P, U and press tab, it writes static, uh, public, sorry. Um, 
if I press ST and tab, it prints static. So there's quite a few shortcuts that you can you can figure out, um, which make writing your lines of code uh, a lot more efficient or quicker. And go back to here. Um, I will include that shortcut, uh, the link to that website as well in the comments below. And now we're moving on to dinosaur. The dinosaur exercise comes with the following templates. This is our, our boiler code. Um, edit the program so that it will print the following text. Use the S out shorthand for writing the print commands. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this again. Or am I? No, I'm not. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this text. There we go. And then I don't need to keep flipping backwards and forwards between uh, the NetBeans and the website as well. So S out and tab once upon a time and then end of the line, press enter because we're inside the method here, we need to stay inside the method. Um, so then another S out, there it was, and the final one, oops. Excellent. That's quite a nice, uh, easy exercise to get us used to the repetition of typing S-O-U-T rather than the full command. So we can give that a test, so we'll run that and see how we did. Excellent, and we've passed again. Um, so we, we're actually getting through these relatively quickly. Um, I'm sure we will slow down a bit when we get to the more complex ones. Um, but for now, let's right click and close Dinosaur. There we are, and go back to here, refresh our points and then move down. Terminology and code comments. Uh, the information to be printed by the print command, i.e. its parameters, so in this example, high is the parameter, are passed to it by placing them inside parentheses that follow the command. For example, passing high as a parameter to the system.out.println command looks like this. So system.out.println, and then we've got the parameter high. Commands are separated with a semicolon. We could, if we wanted, write almost everything on a single line. However, that would be difficult to understand. So that's the um, example of it all written on uh, a single line. And then this is how it would appear. But as you can see, it is a lot harder to understand, um, especially if you've got a huge line that's sort of hundreds of characters long. Although the previous example works, it's important to be considerate of other programmers and your future self and use line breaks. That way, anyone reading the program knows that each line does only one concrete thing. Source code can be commented to clarify it or add notes. There are two ways to do this. The single line comment is the double forward slash. Then everything following them on the same line is interpreted as a comment. And a multi-line comment, which is a forward slash and an asterisk to close it off, an asterisk and a forward slash. So here's the example of a multi-line comment. And then here is the or one of the two examples of a single line comment. And remember, in NetBeans, you're able to press uh, control and forward slash to comment out uh, multiple lines as well. So for example, if I go to message here, um, if I just add in a couple of blank system outs or S outs like this, um, instead of selecting each one individually, we can highlight the two and press control and forward slash on our keyboard and that will highlight, uh, sorry, that will comment out both of those lines at the same time and uncomment them too. So that's another quite useful shortcut to know. The last line of the example shows a particularly handy use case for comments. Code that has been written that does not need to be deleted to try something out. Reading input. Remember to check your points from the ball on the bottom right corner of the material. Let's have a look. So we've answered 22 points uh, on quizzes so far. Um, we've done 10% um, or have 10% worth of the points for the program and exercises. So as we go through, they'll in, of course increase. And that's it for today. We've looked at all of the second section for printing. Next time we'll be looking at reading inputs from a user. Um, so we'll be using scanners and working with integers and strings again. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to see me continue doing videos. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Thanks very much.